Oh, hey there. I didn't see you there. Wow. What a coincidence it is that you're here. Hello, average bass fisherman here, guys. Today, we're putting in a scupper hole in the Pelican Bass Raider. Oh, hey there. I didn't see you there. <laughs> I want to make a short video and kind of so that you guys have an idea if you have a pelican bass or what you can do to get water out of it. So when it rains or something like that, it will fill up with water in here. If you're out fishing and it's raining, usually if you have the cover on, you're good. But that right there gets really old really fast and I have to take all this stuff off and just to dump the water out of my boat. So it's, I've got some things here, um, some tools. And I'm going to make a scupper hole right there that's going to let water drain out of my boat anytime it gets in it. So some of the things that you're going to need in order to put a scupper hole in the bass radar is one, the Atwood through hole connector. And basically that's what's going to be your scupper right there. You'll need a wrench to tighten that down, some uh, plumber's tape to get a good seal on the threads. You'll obviously need a plug so that when you're driving the boat around, water's not coming up into the boat from the water. Some gasket sealer to get a good seal around your scupper hole. And then obviously the most important uh, piece to make this happen, a um, kit for drilling holes. So I got a, you can just get, I believe we're gonna end up using the, either the one and three quarter or the two inch uh, hole saw but I just got a kit because it's like 12 bucks at Harbor Freight, so we're gonna use that. So, one of the first things you're gonna need to do, take your um, through hole connector, take it apart, find out which hole saw is gonna fit um, in order to draw, to, to drill the, per the best hole possible. So once you find that, we're gonna go ahead, attach it to our drill, and get the drilling. All right, so once you found your right fitting a hole saw, I got the one and a half inch here, that's what I'm gonna start with, always start smaller. I'm gonna go ahead and take in this section right here that's looks like it's already um, concave. I'm gonna go ahead and just drill a hole straight through. So the next thing we're gonna do here is I'm going to use this gasket sealer and I'm literally going to just seal up all in this thing. Take it, put it here, all around where I want that gasket to be created. So the next thing we're gonna do, thread this, whoops. You gotta get some gasket here, gasket sealer here. This is probably more important than the top one. Once we've done that, we'll take our wrench. Put it on and get it extra tight. Should be good there.
the last thing there is to do is pop open this drain plug and if you can <clears throat> drop it in so now when you're driving your boat put that bad boy in lock it up and water's not coming in you want the water to go out let it drain so guys here we have the finished product we've got a functioning scupper hole it's going to drain the water for us so we don't ever have to deal with that problem ever again and there's the spider and that's it that's pretty much how it's done and i'll give an update if something happens you can look on my Instagram, YouTube. I'll give an update if uh, I have to change anything, modify anything, or do something different. <laughs> Thanks for watching.